Hello and welcome, on today's video we are going to learn a little bit more about shaders by recreating a popular post-processing effect of heat and coldness. We have set up a simple scene for our character, so let's jump right into shader action. We hit the hot button, we can see this nice heat effect taking place. We can still move our character around, but the shader is distorting the entire screen. Likewise, if we hit the call button, the screen distorts in a different manner resembling a freeze effect. These effects may look very different from one another, but in reality they are modifying the exact same information about our screen, which is the UV coordinates. The UVs are like the addresses of our homes, they help us locate any pixel within a certain picture. If we modify the UVs, then we are basically modifying the pixel's location on the screen. Now, there are two main ways of modifying the UVs. The first way is using a mathematical function, like y equals x plus 2. The second way is using a normal map texture, which contains RGB values that represent the offset we want. In this case, to recreate the heat effect you see on the screen, we are using a trigonometric function. You may recognize some of the concepts, like amplitude, period, and phase shift. They are using what is called a sine function, and changing those values will give us a wide variety of results. Each one of these methods has pros and cons. For example, using a function is more flexible because you are manually changing the UVs. However, better effects require more advanced and complex functions, while using a normal map is overall easier at the cost of flexibility because we are using a predefined static texture. The good news are that we can use a combination of the first method with the second to create a powerful shader effect, just like the one you are seeing on the screen. I know that's a lot to digest in 2 minutes, so let's analyze the shader in depth. Here we have our shader code. Because we are not modifying the geometry of our objects, we will just pass the same information in our vertex shader. Now don't panic. The fragment shader may look a little bit more intimidating, but if you remember that we are only changing the UV coordinates, then it becomes a lot more simpler. Here. We are preparing some of the properties we get from the inspector and that we'll use in a moment by creating local variables. Then we are saving the UVs of the screen in two separate variables called modified UV hot and modified UV cold. Both are storing the same information about the UVs, so we get a fresh start for each effect we want to apply. Right after we modify the original UVs with the first method using a sign function for the heat effect. We can see the heat amplitude, the heat period, and the heat phase shift being multiplied by the current hot factor. In this case, we are only modifying the X value. After that, we modify the original UVs again, but now with the second method, by unpacking a normal map texture with the original undistorted UVs for the freeze effect, and we multiply that with a custom effect strength and the current call factor. Now, modified UV hot and modified UV cold store the final values we'll use for distorting the UVs with our post processing effect. In these last lines, we read the main texture, which is the entire screen, and apply the modified UVs we just calculated. And for the final touch, we add a simple tint to make the effects look more convincing. And that's all for today. Remember that you can download entire project files for free on my itch.io page, or by cloning the repository on GitHub or GitLab. The links are in the description. I encourage you to try and play around with the code, and even modify the function to create your own effects. And for those of you that want a little extra, I recreated the same effect using Godot Game Engine. You can watch the video here. Thank you! And if you want to watch more videos like this one, you can support me by playing and downloading my games, they are all free to play. Or you can help me even more by donating any amount when downloading the files. 